Hey guys, and on today's video, I'm taking a look at how to transfer all your stuff from one Mac to another. It doesn't really matter which Mac you're transferring stuff from. It could be a MacBook to an iMac or an iMac to an iMac, MacBook to another MacBook. It's going to be the exact same instructions for all of you. So first things first, take a look at external hard drives. You need an external hard drive. And that's if you care about your information. If you don't care about your information, you can take other ways or do this other ways. But if you care about your information, not losing it and having a backup, buy an external hard drive. Now, the fastest thing that you could buy is an external SSD, but they are pricey. So you could just get an external HD. So that's why I'm showing you this because you guys could get something like this, 18 terabytes, which is a lot. And obviously the size of your external hard drive just has to be what I suggest is double the size of whatever amount of documents you guys have. So if you guys have, let's say hundred gigs, just get an external hard drive that's 200 gigs. You do not need a terabyte or two terabytes. And I say get the double amount because once you set up Time Machine to transfer everything, that way you guys can always keep a backup, which does include a lot of backups. And I'm gonna explain that a little bit later. But anyways, these are just examples of external hard drives. Now I've got another video that teaches you how to format your external hard drive to make it work with Time Machine. Time Machine is already something that's built into your Mac, by the way. So all you have to do is go into system settings. In your system settings, just look for Time Machine. And right now I'm doing a backup off my Mac as we are talking about this. So once again, I do have another video that teaches you how to format your external hard drive to work with Time Machine. That's already something pre-built into every single Mac out there. And from there, all you have to do is just back up your Mac. This will back up everything. That means your documents, pictures, any apps, such as all of these, all of these will be transferred onto my new Mac and everything else. So that's why Time Machine is the best way to transfer things from one Mac to another. So once you first make your time machine backup, which is going to take quite a bit, then make a second and a third one. And it doesn't matter if you're just backing up little megabytes. It's very important that you do those three time machine backups off your Mac before you transfer everything over to your new one. Again, this is important just because you're going to have a backup of your Mac. So if something goes wrong with your new Mac or whatever Mac you're transferring stuff to, then you don't have to worry about it because you have this backup which by the way is much, much more than just to transfer stuff. Time machine, you can also go back in time for stuff. Maybe you deleted a file, you wanna go back and take a look at it. You can use time machine for that. And if your Mac ever crashes and it's done, then you can also use time machine just to load everything back up to a new Mac or to another Mac that replaces your older Mac that crashed. So that's why it's very important to do it this way. Now a question that I get about passwords. Will your passwords transfer over to your new Mac? Well, for passwords, Although Time Machine does keep some stuff, passwords will be on your keychain. So keychain is something that's with your iCloud. So let me just go over that right now. So once again, in system settings, just look for keychain. You're gonna see this option, passwords. From passwords, you can use this. Use passwords and pass keys from iCloud keychain. So just make sure to turn this on. Turn all this on actually. And as long as you do that, all your passwords for your emails and everything, they will be stored on your iCloud. So technically you don't need an external hard drive for that. That you only need your iCloud. So you can log into your phone or your tablet, for example. And from there, you can see all your passwords anyways. Now, just to make sure that you have everything the way that you want it to be, just go into Safari. So open that up. That's your browser. And from here, just go into settings. Once you open up settings, this third option will say passwords. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you can see this password options, just tap on it. And then from here, just make sure all of this is turned on. So go into Safari, go into your email and just make sure you can get in with your passwords. They're going to be stored right here on iCloud. It's going to ask you if you want to store some, if they weren't stored before that way, you're going to make sure that your passwords and everything is already on your iCloud and you're good to go. But once again, our main thing is right here, our time machine. Now I call this one Time Machine iMac. It doesn't matter. The name could be just Time Machine. You guys can name this whatever you want actually. But once we're done with this Time Machine backup, all you guys have to do is just click here. So you're gonna click over and eject Time Machine or just eject your external hard drive. Once you're done that, you're gonna connect your external hard drive to the new Mac and then we're gonna take it from there. All right, so the next step after you do your Time Machine backup is to turn on your new Mac. So turn it on and set it up. Just go throughout the normal setup process and we're going to pick not now. We're going to set up our internet and then throughout this, you're going to see uh, that we will have an option to migrate all our information to the Mac. So just go throughout the whole thing again. It's going to ask you for your Apple ID, all that information. 
and then you're going to get to this part where it says migration assistant so right now it's going to ask us if we want to use that time machine backup that we created so at this point in time and only at this point in time go ahead and connect up your external hard drive so now that you turned on your external hard drive just going to next and then from here it's going to say transfer information to this mac select the mac time machine backup or startup disk to transfer again i did this kind of fast i should have just waited a little bit until my external hard drive is fully turned on so it can actually detect it so right now finally detected so time machine imac and that's what i'm going to select and then just go into continue we do have to choose the latest one so the latest one that i have is down here below and i'm going to see tech and sign and yeah it's just this one right here so i'm going to go ahead and choose that one because that's the latest one we're going to go on to continue on and we're going to migrate everything onto our mac we should see a screen like so where we can select all the information to transfer and there could be information that you may not want to transfer at this point in time but in this case it is everything i'm not going to wait for it to calculate how much because i know exactly so i'm going to go on and continue I will have to select a password. So I'm going to set a password right now for each one of these. I'm going to set a password, set a password, continue on. And it's going to go on and just do the whole transfer to this iMac. So all we have to do is just wait at this point in time. It does depend on how much information you guys have. It does depend if you guys have an external hard drive versus an SSD. It's much faster. And uh, that's about it. So we just have to wait for this transfer to be over. So as you go out throughout this process, you will see that it keeps moving. Again, how fast this goes depends on your external hard drive. External SSD will be much faster. And obviously it also depends how much information you're transferring over. In this case, it's a lot of files, so it's gonna take quite a bit of time. I also wanna note that at no point in time do you ever want to turn off your Mac or move your external hard drive. Just leave them as is. You don't wanna move any of the wires. All right, so once you're done with the migration process, it's gonna say this, just click on done. And then from here, it's gonna restart. You just have to wait for it. There we go. Oh, I shouldn't have said restart. The screen would just turn off for a second. And then you're gonna see this. So it's logging into my account again. There is some stuff, like I said, that you have to set up yourself, which by the way, on the left-hand side, you can always set up later, but it's better if you just do it now. If you have two-factor, just like most people do, you're gonna get a code sent to your phone or tablet and then just put it in, go ahead and click on continue on. And then it's just gonna take a while to set everything up still. It's gonna load everything that you had from before onto your Mac. The next screen you should see something like so, iCloud setting up account. This part's about setting up your touch ID. If you have a keyboard, which came with your Mac, you just have to tap here several times and that way you're gonna set it up. All right, so for a keyboard to secure this, it's asking us to double tap on our Mac. So that means our power button on the back, we have to press it twice really quick. So that's on the left-hand side. And one, two, and we press OK. And there we go. So now it's letting us do this. Although usually it's, we don't have to do that. And all we are is tapping on our keyboard. We're not pressing this button. We're just placing our finger on top and putting it up and there we go we have our touch id all set up so right now our next screen would be continue on and here we go we just migrated everything uh it's gonna take a while for everything to connect up if there's any problems that are not exactly compatible with this version of the mac it's gonna tell us but anyways as far as this video goes we're all done if you guys have any questions comments you guys can be down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you